I'm a brewhead! drunk, playing music and singing his heart out. He's on a roll, but I, like I was saying, I can't touch any more of the DJ beers for today, so I got, uh, courtesy of Grant Baker, I got my Nelson Savan. Is that how you say it? I'm trying to find my recipe here. There we go. All right, so what do we got here? We got the Nelson Savan slash Galaxy. Uh, it's predominantly Nelson. It was nine and a half pounds pale, half pound of victory. I did a half ounce first wort hop with the Nelson, and then I did an ounce at ten, and an ounce at flame out, and I also did an ounce of Galaxy at flame out. I was going to go with Amarillo, but from the research online, it looked like Galaxy might have might pair better, excuse me, with the Nelson. So I went with the Galaxy. Uh, and then it's been dry hopped with an ounce of Nelson and an ounce of Galaxy. So here we go. Totally unfiltered. I don't use any fining agents. Why the hell would you want to put any of that shit in your beers beyond me? I mean, I don't know. You know what's in that shit? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that go against the fucking Ryan Heights to boot? But whatever, right? So does fruit, so it's irrelevant. This is totally like drinking grapefruit juice with some kick. What's up, Sparky? What's up, buddy? A little more bitter than I would prefer. If I did this again, I'd have it less bitter. So I guess a half ounce of first war hop is too much, and we're talking for a five, five and a half gallon batch. I mashed at 154. So she's, she's dried out pretty good. Not overly sweet, it's just primarily like grapefruit. It smells like grapefruit. It tastes like grapefruit. I really don't get a lot from the malts. There's not a whole lot of sweetness. It's just kind of grapefruit. So there you go. Thank you much, Grant, for the Nelson. That's awesome. Very awesome. Like I say, if I were to do this again, I'd have it be not so bitter. And then I think it might be, you know, something really special. But as it is, it's it's too bitter for for my personal taste. And it's a lingering bitter. It's sticking on the roof and the tongue. It's like kind of everywhere. So I guess for this one I prefer the smell over the taste. It'd be like I guess eating the pith of a grapefruit taste wise.
not a bad beer by any means. I mean, I've been trying to hold off on, on drinking this one because I know I started hitting it pretty hard and I know she was getting low. And I wanted to make sure that I got it on film to show Grant. So, there you go, Grant. Look at that. She almost looks like grapefruit, too. Yeah, she's kind of copper, I'll say. It's like golden to copper, maybe in between the two. Just fine, you know, lacing. It's all right. The head didn't stick around very long. It was probably five minutes at most. And so I poured it and I was getting fucking ready or whatever. I don't know, I'll have to look back at the footage. But it definitely, you know, isn't sticking around. So, but here we go. It's on footage. I don't have to worry about drinking it anymore. I can kick the cake. Cheers. Super cheers. Cheers.